Alright guys, this is the plan. Uh, I think we're going to go in and try to take out the Eagle Artillery. So I think we'll start with the Wall Breaker, followed by the Funneling Troops, maybe drop the Heroes in behind. Uh, that way we can go ahead and get a nice push, maybe take out the Air Defense, and that should allow us to take out the base, um, and then we'll be good to go. So I think that's going to be the plan, so right, let's do it. Okay, then. Alright. Stick to the plan! At least I have chicken. What is up? What's going on, guys? Trizzle here tuning in bringing you guys another great three-star tutorial today we're going to be getting into a little what i like to call leroy jenkins or as you can see uh, it's going to be the definitive pekka bow bat guys uh, those of you that have been under a rock for the last month or and a half maybe two months um, may not have caught this raid um, but this raid is so strong guys and I'm going to be showing you how to execute a three star with Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11, and Town Hall 10 Pekka Bobat. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Starting of course with Town Hall 12, uh, we're going to go over two different versions for the armies. Uh, I was tinkering back and forth between the different uh, you know, versions, but I'm, I believe I'm settling on the version with the Ice Golem. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, so version number one, uh, you're going to be bringing one archer, two balloons, one wizard, five healers, three pekkas, one electro dragon, and 15 bowlers. Version two, uh, you're actually going to be bringing one archer, one balloon, one wizard, five healers, three pekkas, one electro dragon, one minion, 13 bowlers, and of course one ice golem. Uh, for your siege machine for both armies, you'll be bringing a wall wrecker, and then in that CC, you'll be bringing a max Pekka along with an ice golem, and of course your grand warden will be set to the ground mode. Um, as far as your spells for Town Hall 12, uh, you're going to be bringing two raid spells, one poison spell, six bat spells, and then two free spells in the CC. Um, that is going to bring us to the Town Hall 11 version of, of this army. Um, of course, that's going to be one balloon, five healers, three Pekkas, one Electro Dragon, one minion, 13 bowlers, and then for your Seed Machine, you're still going to bring the Wall Wrecker, of course your Pekka, and then you're going to bring two Giants since you don't have quite enough room for that Ice Bowl. Uh, the Grand Warden, that's going to be set to ground mode. Um, and that's going to lead us right into the spells for Town Hall 11. Uh, you're going to be bringing two raid spells, one poison spell, six bat spells, and two free spells in the CC. Now for Town Hall 12, uh, excuse me, Town Hall 10, you'll be bringing one balloon, five healers, three pekkas, one baby dragon, one minion, 13 bowlers, and then of course a wall wrecker. Uh, for your siege machine and then one Pekka and then two giants in the CC um, and that'll be it now as far as your spells it's gonna be two raid spells one free spell six bat spells and then one max free spell in the CC that's gonna bring us right to the tips for success uh, starting with the first tip guys this is best used on bases that aren't extremely spread out uh, it's gonna be most effective against single target infernos and you've got to make sure you're bringing max troops of course max heroes only um, always scout the base and plan your attack it's very important uh, now there's actually two main phases to this attack uh, within the first phase your main army needs to take out the eagle artillery along with the cc troops and then for the second phase usually after the eagle goes down uh, you're going to use a bat bomb or bat wave to take out any high value defensive structures 
Uh, last but not least, you gotta practice, gotta practice, gotta memorize those rate objectives, and of course, practice some more, guys. I can't say that enough. Now, that is going to lead us right into the rate objectives. Um, so starting with phase one, um, and this is rate objective number one. Always start by scouting the base so you can determine the best side of the base to attack and plan your opening for the funnel and the entry point for your army. Remember the kill squad has to be able to take out the eagle artillery. Number two, make note of where the wizard towers and the multi-target infernos are located so that way you can use your free spells as the bats move throughout the base and you always want to scout the best place to deploy your bat spells. Now, when you start your army, um, when you start deploying your army, number three, uh, you want to deploy a loon to scout for any seeking air mines. Uh, you want to follow that up with the electro dragon to begin the funnel. And then you always want to try to deploy your e drag where it cannot be immediately targeted by an air defense or an expo. Um, on the other side, raid objective number four, you're going to deploy your king, and if necessary, a bowler slash wizard on the opposite side. Um, of where you drop your e-drag. Now the main purpose of the king is to close the funnel and this is crucial to make sure that the main army doesn't circle the base. Now if possible you want to deploy your king so that if he joins the kill squad um, that he, he joins up with the kill squad as he completes the funnel. Uh, please note uh, there are slightly different variations for the opening of this raid. Uh, you can actually let the king circle the base when you're closing your funnel as well as doing a little bit more of a tiny AQ walk but I gotta forewarn you guys uh, since you only have two raid spells uh, this is gonna force you to burn uh, through your raid spells very quickly and a lot of times you'll end up having to use the AQ ability because you don't have the extra raid spells that's gonna bring us to number six if necessary use a P.E.K.K.A to complete that funnel Deploy your wall wrecker so it will allow you to, your army to take out the eagle artillery and open up as many compartments as possible. Number seven, deploy the remaining P.E.K.K.A.s behind the wall wrecker, followed by the archer queen and the grand warden. And I like to make sure that the wall wrecker breaks into the first layer of the walls before dropping the healers, followed by the bowlers. And if you don't allow the wall wrecker to break into the base, a lot of times the king or the bowlers will end up circling and then the healers, will fall, the healers will end up following them, and then it's no bueno, you don't want that at all. Um, as the army falls in behind the wall wrecker, go ahead and deploy the first raid spell to supercharge
use your free spell to keep your bats alive. As the bats move in range, focus on freezing those multi-target infernos, wizard towers, as well as the Giga Tesla for Town Hall 12. Now, if you are Town Hall 12 and you're using this, uh, use your Ice Golem to tank for any outside wizard towers on the edge of the base. Um, that way, as the bats work their way around, uh, that'll be one less thing for the wizard towers to be able to take out, and it'll save you a free spell. Number 12, deploy your cleanup troops uh, after your bat spells have cleared all defenses from that area. That way you can speed up uh, clearing the base. Finally, raid objective number 13. I know we've gone over a lot, but collect your three star guys. Um, that's pretty basically it. Keep in mind that this is going to encompass all town halls. Uh, so as far as a uh, last minute reminder, make sure you don't forget. Always select the wall record if you're bringing your own. And if you didn't have one, uh, if you didn't have one donated to you, uh, always make the most of your king ability. Never let his health get below the halfway mark, or allow any single target infernos to lock on before using the iron fist ability. And also keep an eye on the archer queen during phase two, so that way you can pop her ability if necessary. And if you're not careful, she can go down before you can use her ability while you're deploying your bat spells and free spells. So be careful. That has happened. Um, now that is going to be it for the raid objectives guys, uh, we're going to get into the actual replays so we can see this stuff in action and of course we're going to go ahead and start with a Town Hall 12 replay, uh, so let's hop right into it uh, and this is going to be pretty much a, a max Town Hall 12 if I wasn't mistaken and we're going to open out with that single loon to check for any air mines, um, any air traps and then we're going to follow up with the electro dragon so that way we can start the funnel. Uh, once the Electro Dragon creates the funnel on the one side of the base, you're going to go ahead and drop your king on the other side. That way you can start the funnel, uh, and if you can, deploy him so that he will join your kill squad as they enter into the base. Like I said, there are different variations on that, but I like the king going in with the main army. So you want to get that wall record down nice and early. That way when you drop your troops, uh, everything will go in behind the wall record into the base, followed up with those healers, bowlers, Cran Warden, uh, from there, you're going to use that raid spell to rage into uh, those high value objectives, i.e. the Eagle Artillery, um, i.e. any Infernos. Um, and then from there, you're going to consider where you're going to be bringing in your bat bomb. Um, now, I went ahead and just popped it on the Giga Tesla, excuse me, because I didn't have a whole lot of stuff in the core. There wasn't really a ton of stuff that was up there. Now, that may have been a bad decision because I thought I had more support. I thought I would have been able to push through and take the, the town hall out. But, unfortunately, um, the bats didn't quite survive it. But you'll notice that even on a pretty much near max base, uh, the rest of the army stays alive. By the end of it, we have a ton of bowlers up left. Uh, I believe there might be... Is there any P.E.K.K.A.s in there? No, but we do have a full health queen, basically, a warden. Um, so very very strong device uh, decisive restar all right so let's go ahead and show one more replay for town hall 12 um, and of course we'll definitely hop into some replays for uh, town hall 11 as well as town hall 10 all right so this was again another uh, pretty much max base and we're just gonna go ahead uh, start the funnel um, get that electro dragon down and then from there uh, you're going to allow it to establish the funnel and then bring it in uh, then bring in your king on the other side uh, so I probably should have dropped the loon first I wasn't really thinking I was trying to get the, the most value out of the loon so I actually wanted the um, eagle the electro dragon to tank for that balloon so that way it could at least try to get in there King goes in uh, as it works its way into the middle of the funnel. Uh, we'll go ahead and get one or two of these peckers down so they can start taking out their structures. And down goes the wall wrecker, and in goes the army. We're gonna allow the wall wrecker to break into the base, get those healers down, bowlers down, the rest of your army, rage so that it can bring the kill squad into the core. And then from there, try to get the eagle artillery down ASAP. Now we were able to break our way into the, the main part of the base and then from there uh, we're just going to go ahead and deploy that bat bomb and I've noticed that I tend to want to uh, deploy the bat bomb um, in the core of the base. I find myself getting bigger value out of it but again it really depends when you have time in war to plan your attacks uh, it's a lot easier to make that determination when you're just hitting bases in the wild uh, pushing in multi uh, sometimes you 
don't have enough time. Uh, you're just going to go with what feels right on the fly, which is okay because it helps develop that instinctual approach because uh, you are going to want to develop uh, that second nature approach to this raid. Uh, so that way, if things do kind of go a little bit unexpectedly, uh, you're prepared for it, you've done it before, and that muscle memory really kicks in. So I believe we can show one more um, and then I'll hop right into the uh, lower town halls. Uh, so this again is going to be, uh, you always want to start off checking the CC. Now I didn't tell him to put his CC on the outside, but we did go ahead and check, see if there's any troops in there. And then from there, we're going to use that E-drag, uh, get that funnel established. Uh, make sure you get that loon out ahead of time. Um, not that it wouldn't be a bad thing for the E-drag to take out some traps, but it's much better to establish that funnel. Um, and you definitely want to get good value for that E-drag. So from there, uh, we get that going on the left side of the base. Down comes the king. And on this one, the king almost decides that he wants to go into the main part of the base, but he ends up uh, going off to the right, but that's okay. Uh, so we get the uh, pekkas down, and then we're gonna get the wall wrecker down to start breaking into the core. And then we're gonna get the queen down, healers, uh, rest of the bowlers. And again, you wanna delay this a little bit to the point where you allow the wall wrecker to at least bang into that first layer of walls, because what will happen if you're not careful is that the army will circle and they'll split. You'll have the king or some bowlers go off a pecker or two, and then that typically will pull the healers. And then if you're, if you're really unlucky, you'll have no, no healers go into the core, and that spells disaster for this raid. I mean, you'll still potentially get the two star, but it really takes away its, its extra advantage and that extra punch that it packs um, if you can't get the healers to focus in on those pekkas along with the bowlers as it busts through the core. Again, with your bat bomb, you're just gonna use that um, and the whatever feels right. Now, if you're, during, if you're able to plan for war, um, obviously that's a little bit of a different scenario. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you're establishing where the splash damage as far as wizard towers, multi-target infernos, things that will take out your bats, um, and then make that determination from there. you got to ask yourself, how difficult is it to get to the Eel Artillery? How difficult is it to get to the Town Hall and take out the Giga Tesla? Uh, if you can answer those questions easily um, in terms of having a plan for it for your raid, then of course that'll help determine it because if the Eagle Artillery is at a weird location, the town hall is offset, it's an anti-3 base, um, then it's going to be one of those situations where it might make sense to, to do it one way or another. But that's something that you'll get better with as you practice, as you guys spend more time uh, getting the, the raid under your belt. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop into the Town Hall 11 uh, version of this army. Um, and I'll flash again a quick breakdown of the troops right now. Um, that way you can see exactly you know, what you're using with this particular breakdown. Um, but as you can see, it's really straightforward. Uh, you're going to get that loon out. And then from there, use the Electro Dragon to start the funnel. And same thing with Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 12. Uh, use the E-Drag to start the funnel on the one side. And then you're going to use the King to complete the funnel uh, and hopefully join the main part of the army on the other side. Uh, once that's done, you're going to get the Wall Wrecker out. I uh, use the Pekkas to finish creating the funnel. It is very, very crucial that funnel is set up the right way. Get the healers down, bowlers down, and then allow the army to work their way into the base. Now you're going to use that first raid spell to break into that first layer, uh, get into the Eagle Artillery, um, and then you'll notice that I was able to do a raged bat bomb because I didn't have to use that second raid spell. Um, and because of that, I'm able to get a huge amount of value for the bat spells. Uh, they take out probably at least 20 or 30 percent of the defenses and by the end of it i mean i had a pretty much some bats left almost to the very end uh, but in any event you'll notice that almost every peck is still up um, i have three heroes up uh, the queen's still going and she doesn't even have a healers locked onto her uh, so she goes over takes out a ton of defenses uh, we get just the right tanking enough for her to take out the rest of the defenses in that one quadrant and then from there, it's pretty much wham, bam, thank you, man. Uh, so again, Leroy Jenkins. Y'all know that reference. Uh, those of you that have played uh, World of Warcraft, I uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. So there you have it, guys. The Town Hall 11 version of Pekka Bobat. Um, and that's going to bring us to, last but not least, Town Hall 10 Pekka Bobat.
Um, so this is something that I was really uh, excited to do for you guys because I want to make sure that all town halls are included and it's a lot easier if you do have just one video as opposed to having it you know spread out all over the place and um, not saying that having a specific video is a bad thing but just wanted to show the town hall 10 some love this time around all right so with this version you don't have an e-drag so you just have to use that baby dragon to establish the funnel uh, using that loon and then um, you may or may not depending on the scenario have to uh, exaggerate the queen walk a bit on this one you'll notice it's a masterpiece and if you take a look at that loot damn 8800 dart dog that shit is oh anyways with that being said you know i actually get the queen down a little bit earlier um i did have to exaggerate the queen walk on this raid which isn't necessarily a good thing uh for the reasons that i mentioned earlier you only have two raid spells uh you really need to get a ton of value and uh luckily because of how everything is located i was able to get a ton of value you know i got queen air defense that whole quadrant uh, luckily the queen does stay up and then from there she ends up going to the top um, circling more towards the uh, two o'clock uh, three o'clock section of the base uh, from there we're gonna drop the king to try and get ahead um, I don't recall if we get the funnel so I drop the bowler down to help assist um, and down comes the wall wrecker and then from there uh, we're gonna let the wall wrecker break in we're gonna go ahead and drop the pekkas and then we're gonna bring in the bowlers so we're going to go ahead and use that other raid spell to supercharge the kill squad. And then from there, we're going to freeze and then drop that bat bomb so that way we can get good value. So you'll notice I freeze the inferno tower, that multi, drop the bat bomb, freeze again. And then from there, the other side of the kill of the core uh, didn't stand a chance. So by the time the queen, healers, hekas, uh, the bowlers made their way in, uh, the other side was taken out. Um, and then from there, because everything was done systematically, it was an awesome raid, guys. A max 10v10 hit, and you'll notice that the, the, the loot is crazy. I mean, damn. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a lot of loot. I mean, I know there's some of you out there that have gotten 2 million dark in one raid. I know that. Trust me. It's your boy, Trills. You know he knows his things. But um, in any event, got to give a special shout out uh, to you. Uh, for making it all the way to the end of this video um, as always your boy Trizzle appreciate you guys uh, you have no idea uh, make sure to drop a comment down below um, is this something that you guys have used before um, have you guys you know used this in CWL have you used it in regular clan wars uh, do you use it to push uh, don't don't um, don't be ashamed to, to give me some feedback um, I definitely like to know what you guys are thinking um, but with that being said again Really appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. Frizzle tuning out. That's all, folks.